from a local newspaper. Ominous unknown killer still at large. After weeks of killings, the ominous unknown killer is still on the rise. After little evidence has been found, a young boy states that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells his story. I had a bad dream and woke up in the middle of the night, says the boy. I saw that for some reason, the window was open. Even though I remember it being closed before I went to bed. I got up and shut it once more. Afterwards, I simply crawled under my covers and tried to go back to sleep. That's when I had a strange feeling. Like someone was watching me. I looked up and nearly jumped out of my bed. There, in the little ray of light illuminating from my curtains, were a pair of two eyes. These weren't regular eyes. They were dark, ominous eyes. They were bordered in black and just plain out terrified me. That's when I saw his mouth. A long, horrendous smile that made every hair on my body stand up. The figure stood there, watching me. Finally, after what seemed like forever, he said it. A simple phrase, but said it in a way only a madman could speak. Go to sleep. I let out a scream. That's what sent him at me. He pulled out a knife, aimed at my heart, jumped on my bed. I fought him back. I kicked, I punched, I rolled around, trying to knock him off me. That's when my dad burst in with his 12-gauge shotgun. He aimed it at the man. He almost got him. But before he could pull the trigger, the man leapt out to the side. The man threw the knife in a Bowie knife style into my dad's shoulder. He let go of the gun. The man probably would have finished him off if one of the neighbors hadn't alerted the police. They drove into the parking lot and ran towards the door. The man turned and ran down the hallway. He heard a smash, a glass breaking. As I came out of my room, I saw the window that was pointing towards the back of my house was broken. I looked at it to see him vanish into the distance. I can tell you one thing. I'll never forget that face. Those cold, evil eyes. That psychotic smile will never leave my head. Police still are on the lookout for this man. If you see anyone that fits the description in the story, please contact your local police department. Jeff and his family had moved.